here's a wild proposal. Think of something that you do every day just because you love it. Watching TV, eating Pringles, scrolling through Facebook. It's easy to do these things every day because you're doing them for fun, right? Not because you'll get better at doing them or because they'll help you lose weight or because you can make money at them. You do it just because you love drinking Diet Coke or watching Real Housewives or checking the box scores. Now, think of something that you enjoy making. Maybe you like drawing funny faces or painting cats or writing limericks or doodling designs. Maybe you like writing down stories about your family or coming up with new cookie recipes or singing in the shower. Something that's interesting to you to create, but not a job, not going to get graded, not for sale. Now, what if you committed to doing more of that thing every day in the same spirit as your other daily fun activities? Not just when the mood strikes you or when you have some downtime, but a commitment so that it becomes as regular a part of your day as watching Jeopardy or reading Stephen King. What if you said to yourself, I'm going to try drawing cats or dreaming up new cookies or writing haikus every single day. And I'm going to do it for two years. Wait, what? Two years? Yes. I'm suggesting you commit to your creative passion on a regular basis for 730 days. Showing up consistently, not doing it well, not doing it professionally, not doing it to get likes, but doing it consistently for two years. What would happen if you did? What would your life look like if you drew your cat for 10 minutes every day for two years? If you wrote one paragraph of a novel every day for two years? If you published two essays a week for two years? If you practiced yodeling or riding the unicycle or drawing a self-portrait every day for two years, where would you be? This doesn't require hours every day. Just 10 minutes will be fine. And if you miss a day here or there, that's not a deal breaker either. And even if 90% of the things that you make suck, what would that remaining 10% look like? This isn't a punishment. It's not a workout regimen or a mountain to climb. It's just the same as drinking a daily martini or doing Wordle or playing catch with your dog. It's just another thing that you do for fun. But because you do it constantly, one day you'll wake up and you won't be just a martini drinking Jeopardy fan. <laughs> You'll be an artist, an artist with a body of work. Maybe you've already tried focusing for a month or two and the results were meh. But two years of regular creating is absolutely game changing. Things will happen that you just can't possibly predict. Maybe you'll start to share your work with other people. And as a result, opportunities will erupt. Or maybe you'll go deep, so deep into it that you will make insane discoveries you couldn't possibly anticipate it. Or maybe you'll just have real fun every single day. Becoming an artist doesn't mean quitting your job or renting a studio or buying supplies or taking a workshop or getting a degree. It doesn't mean slogging or, or suffering either. It means showing up day after day, step after step, having fun until you get what you've always dreamed of getting. Does that sound plausible? Then why not start today? I'll see you in two years. I can't wait. 
The idea for this video started with one of the essays that I write every week. I write them just to send out to people who subscribe and they're free. And I do it for the same reason that I make YouTube videos because I have ideas and I really want to share them with you. You can get my essays too if you'd like. Just go to dannysessays.com, tell me where you want to get them, and I'll start sending them to you this week. I hope you do. Thanks for listening.